Okay, so here's this one that we're gonna be going aboard, the X95. Oh, look at how far that extends out. That's wild. And that can lower all the way down into the water. See that, and those become stairs. area this all goes down and then those become stairs that's really awesome with all the things. Okay, still not, still more storage. Strong AC. And it's, uh, you know, with the AC on, 81. Let's see if this is the laundry. Aha! Aha! And if you're doing laundry, Whoever is in this room, it cannot get out. There's gonna be access up there. It's a door that leads out to the uh, walk around on port side. So let's take a look at the engine first. down and then you have that access door right here so once that's closed you can always get in and out right here and that would take you same walk where we just did um also what do we have here like ice box i'm assuming yeah or for fishing actually So this is the world premiere of the X95. 
Now we're gonna go take a look over here. Okay, sink. Storage. I like the way they do this bar section. They do this down below too on the beach club area. That raised. Another sink right here. Fridge. Okay, so slide out. More storage. And an ice maker. And let's go take a look inside. Is it electronic? I guess not. Let's see what we got going on in here first of all. And let's go take a look inside. Wow, <laughs> that is beautiful. I'm going to close the store so we cut out that music. This is beautiful. I'm sure you could always have that door electric if you'd like. First of all, I just want to say, okay, it's very loud outside, a lot of music. It's it's very quiet. I, could, I mean, only when I'm standing right next to the sliding glass door do I hear a faint sound of somebody just laughing a moment ago. It's really soundproof in here. Even though there's so much glass, the only thing I'm hearing right now is, is the gentle hiss of the very refreshing, crisp air conditioning. Very welcome right now. I even heard other people saying, oh my God, today is maybe the hottest day of the boat show so far. You'll understand why there's no boat shows during the summer in Florida. There's one more boat show coming up next month, which I won't be going to um, over in on the west coast. So um, the first boat I was on about 18 months ago at the factory, they took out the fourth cabin down below and they did a gym, like a full workout. That's cool. Yeah. So this is the galley. Beautiful. Access outside right here. Okay, dishwasher. Okay, trash. Okay, sink. Dual sink. That's interesting. I haven't really seen that on any of the boats. Storage. Plenty of storage in the cabinets above, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Wait, okay, there's a latch on the one. This one is. Oh, okay, I see now. So there's a latch underneath. Just pull that and open up. Huge stove. Dual ovens. Wow, Wolf, which is excellent. And look at this massive fridge freezer section we have here. I'm gonna have to make sure to grab one of those cold waters afterwards. Massive. And that's four of these drawers. There's even more down here, as you can see. Four of them. And if uh, you could always have this closed, so if you have somebody catering or somebody just wants to have some privacy, they can close it up right there. Entertainment center and some wine storage. Extra storage down here. Yeah. White bar. The summer. Maybe a fridge and air apply. Let's see the vents down there. Yeah. Ice maker right there. Wine storage. Wine cooler over here.
Okay, moving along. Over here, starboard side door leading out. So it's not a full wrap around deck. Day head, beautiful. Look at these windows. I like the way the sink is contoured in like that. Oh, another nice feature also is the day head is put off to the side. So I mean, it's actually, like I said, there's not a walk around on this portion. So that's flush against the side with very large windows looking out. Whereas usually a lot of times the day head will be located right here next to the master. Plenty of storage space throughout. Let's just get an idea of how big these, yeah. A lot of storage space. Place to store your books or trinkets of any kind. I'm just going to open things up because who knows what we might be missing out on. Well, that doesn't want to seem to open. Ah, look at that. Laundry up here as well. This, this one is not moving. It seems like it's bolted in, so I'm not going to mess with that. But there is laundry up here. Now let's go into the master. This is absolutely beautiful. Pop-up television right there. Then we have to see how we access that section right there. It's going to be with stairways. This is interesting the way it's done. It's going to be very interesting. Well, let's go check out the master head. walk-in but plenty of closet space so we have this side here over here with the safe and then I was just showing you the other two right here that are mirrored right here as well you know same same kind of uh, well on this side yeah. so they opted for this kind of storage rather than doing the walk-in everything's very much hidden out of sight okay let's go continue I think we'll continue downstairs first Guest quarters will be down here. VIP suite. And suite it is. Look at those windows that it has. Very nice. I like these light fixtures. It's very nautical. I like a seashell. Big screen Samsung right here. Vanity 
Okay, and let's check out the head. And it's not a head, it's a closet. Now here we have a walk-in closet for the VIP. So it's very interesting how with the master they chose to go against that concept and have all those nice separate closet spaces. Okay, here is VIP's head. Again, a nice big window. Almost feels like it just continues straight through, as you can see right there, from the actual bedroom into the bathroom. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more storage. I'm not going to open every single thing because sometimes there's refrigerators hidden, but <laughs> you got to move along. When you're doing a boat show, you really get sick of opening up any kind of cabinets or doors <laughs> anymore. Okay, let's take a look at this guest cabin. Twin beds. You hear that sound, that is that AC rumbling in here, cooling it off on this very hot day. Again, nice big windows. And now let's go across, see if that's a mirror image. Or I might have a larger bed. Okay, no, it's a mirror image of this. Exact mirror image. Another end suite. And now we will see what we've got back here beyond the stairway. Wait a second, this is <laughs> this is something else. I was saying that's the VIP. You know what? I'm not sure. It seems like there's two VIPs going on here basically two masters this is really beautiful well, i guess we could call this either master number two or vip and we can call the other room then vip number two so whichever way you want to label them here we have a walk-in closet safe All the people's feet right there. Nice big screen TV. Let's see how that is when you close it. It seems like it's, yeah, see this is opaque. So you cannot see through. Pretty opaque, yeah. And now the lights are off in here, and there's plenty of natural light. And I'll put them on also to see how that looks. I also like this lighting again, I love this kind of lighting where it's inset. Just coming out like that, emanating from the wall. I love that. Let's go back up. Railing is leather wrapped. I really like the San Lorenzo, but I just, I like the name Francesca San Lorenzo. Where are you guys based? Uh, West Palm. Oh, West Palm? Yeah. Oh! Well, the boat's been in really into the... Yeah. The boat's built in Plymouth, obviously. Okay, well now we're gonna go uh, up here. Yeah, it's a lot. I think you need. We have a glass partition over here. Nice spiral stairway, probably leading up to a flybridge. First thing I'm seeing is a day head as soon as we walk up. That's pretty awesome. Really nice. I love the fact that they have, you know, a head like on every level, even down by the beach club. It's important, you know. And then turning around, this is the helm station. And a beautiful lounge area as well. There's the X to signify this line of princess yachts. This is the X95. I've seen an amazing jacuzzi straight ahead. And 
That waterfall feature is reminding me of the Pearl 95. And then that glass see-through section is reminding me of the Seven Diamond we just looked at. Does this open by it, any chance? It, it does not. Okay. There's a there's a electric line that comes across, okay. but otherwise it's just a skylight. And this yeah. is just here to diffuse the light. Okay. It's kind of a design okay. feature. But you have a bathroom behind here, which is very nice. Skylight above. So it's like a second day, basically. Yeah. Providing even extra natural light here. If you wanted to be in the this lounge section, have complete privacy from the captain, and so forth. This can be closed. Entirely separate this section of the boat. The captain has access outside via the starboard side door. One thing I've noticed on the other Princess yachts when I was looking at the V78, I love their seating. Very much, has a very much uh, race car feel design to it. More screens there that are turned off currently. Okay, and let's move outside to the back deck. The only thing I would want, electric sliding doors. Especially, here's what happened when I'm on the floor and I start, I start moving. <laughs> the floor is kind of slippery. So. Like here, see on this surface, on the teak, it's okay. Here, I'm not gonna slide. It's, that other floor, I'm pulling on the door. It's not moving, I am. Here on this level. Yes, a full wrap around here. And then there's gonna be stairs leading down to the front where the master is. And here's that jacuzzi, which is awesome. I like the idea of the jacuzzi being up front. To me personally, I'd rather that than be staring at a TV in the back. I'd rather be looking at where we're heading to forward. And you have access stairs on both sides. We'll go, let's go down there, take a look. That's where the master was. Some seating right here. So it's very interesting the way the anchors change are located right here, as opposed to all the way at the bow. Oh wow, and the, the glass see-through section continues forward as well. You'll see right there. side okay I see right off the top okay port side's very different port side leads you right back down it's gonna be that access door to the galley right here this is the galley we were in before so that leads that right here And 
And so in a way it is a wraparound, but it's a multi-level wraparound actually. We also have a stairway right here, which takes us up to that section with a large dining table. Uh, access right here on this side, on starboard side. What about on port side? Do we have a door on port side? I didn't know. Yes, we did. Port side door right here as well. Okay, this side does not have a stairway to bring us right back up like we did on the port side. Here, we actually do have an electric door, so let's try that. Okay, it's good thing I moved my stabilizer so I didn't get smacked by that. Well, there is an electric door. So it's manual to close it automatically. Why would they design that one? Does it make any sense? Even the door, I figured, I mean, they're putting, they're putting all this beautiful technology and everything. Why not have those electric doors in the back? Uh, strange. <laughs> okay, I just found out that the other access point to the crew quarters is on this side somewhere, so I must have missed it. Aha, uh -huh, right here, right here. Okay, we saw that stairway before. I'm not going to start walking down it, but we saw that before. That was right over there. Right over there was where the uh, laundry machines were. So the access is on port side. show being over so I'm just going to try to get on one more boat just have some uh, ice water just to quench that thirst. I hope you enjoyed that exclusive world premiere of Princess X95. Let me know if you enjoyed the video by smashing that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Ring that notification bell so you kept up to date on future uploads on this channel. Thank you for joining and I'll see you soon. Take care.